So there you have visual confirmation of the deployment of our drogue parachutes. This is the first of two parachute deployments. Okay, so those drogue chutes do the initial slowing and then they're ultimately going to pull out the four main parachutes responsible for really slowing the spacecraft down prior to that flashing. You can hear cheering here at SpaceX headquarters as the employees that have gathered around our mission control center are sharing the same view as you. Uh, what a gorgeous shot of Dragon coming back down. to the Atlantic Ocean. Really can't ask for a more picture perfect <laughs> shot than that. And yes, all, all four shoots now deployed. It's gonna continue to descend. It's gonna continue to slow down and then ultimately splash down in the Atlantic there. We're now under a kilometer in altitude. Just about 750 meters to go. In case if you're just joining us, you can see on your screen there, Dragon re-entering, has just re-entered the Earth's atmosphere after departing from the International Space Station. We have a gorgeous shot of four healthy parachutes um, deployed and slowing the vehicle down as it is approaching the surface of the Atlantic Ocean uh, off the coast of Florida. And it's continuing to descend under those chutes. We just passed 500 meters. Everything continuing to look good via reports to all the flight control teams. Now we're at about 400 meters. And just passing 300 meters, continuing to descend. We might be right on time. We were planning on splashing down at about 5.45 a.m. Pacific, and we're getting real close to that bingo time. Just past 200 meters. And we have confirmation that Dragon is now under 100 meters, uh, is 100 meters above the, the surface of the ocean. So next up, spin, standing by for splashdown. now in recovery. That splashdown came right on time, 5.45 a.m. Pacific, 8.45 a.m. over on the East Coast. The teams that have been ready and waiting, they were staged just a few nautical miles away. They're gonna start moving in now. You can see those two fast approach boats already speeding their way towards the capsule.
While there's still a little bit more work to be done at this point, like we said, uh, the recovery team has to safe the vehicle and then uh, lift it onto the recovery vessel. Uh, however, obviously by the excited cheers uh, here at Mission Control, the splashdown is an enormous event for us uh, in terms of the safe re-entry, um, or excuse me, the safe return to Earth from the International Space Station. <laughs> Racing out to greet Dragon Endeavor as uh, it sits there. The first on there, we can see a view inside the capsule. Bob and Doug looking good. Although the communication was a little choppy, we did Space hear. X, uh, Endeavor in three decimal one, we show ourselves in stable one. And SpaceX copies for uh, vehicle assessment, step three decimal one, stable one. Good news. Stable one, essentially. They're upright in the water, stable two. Uh, also, another potential where it could be on its side or even upside down, but Dragon does have a water ballast system uh, to keep it upright where it's able to essentially pump seawater uh, into bladders in the service section of the capsule. But they're upright. We already see the fast boats approaching. They touched down, uh, came right on time at 11.48 a.m. Pacific. Uh, 1848 uh, UTC, Bob and Doug now in the water. And the recovery ops, they've already begun. We're, we already see the, the fast boat starting to move in. Uh, we're still maintaining that good communication back uh, with Bob and Doug and the team here in Hawthorne. Uh, pretty soon we should be getting uh, the go for them to move in, begin their hypergall sniffs, and uh, begin wrangling up those parachutes. But we can see Bob and Doug inside the capsule back on planet Earth. Yeah, those fast boats will be moving in to do a couple of things. Uh, they'll be performing what's known as a sniffer test. That's essentially to ensure that the air around the vehicle uh, doesn't have any toxic fumes from the hypergolic propellants on board. So once we get the all clear from there, uh, the water recovery lead will give the uh, will give the go for approach, and that's when the the first fast boat will actually approach the capsule. Hopefully give a little wave to Bob and Doug through the window. <laughs> and uh, one of the crew members will, uh, one of the team members will actually climb on top of Crew Dragon and begin to um, begin to place the rigging equipment necessary to hoist Dragon out of the water. And at this point, the communication we're getting with Dragon is actually being routed through the boat itself at this point. So there we can see the lift. Dragon is out of the water. Yeah, so now, now that A-frame is going to start swinging it back. And it's bound right for that nest at the bottom of your screen. So there we're getting a better shot of all the points in which Dragon is tethered to the hydraulic lift, ensuring that it isn't swinging freely. And there we can see Dragon Endeavor being carefully set down into the recovery nest on top of Go Navigator. Dragon uh, SpaceX, welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and preparing to translate you to the egress platform. We happy, thank you. We've been waiting for it for months at this point. Uh, this is our first opportunity to say hello to Bob and Doug, our favorite space dads, uh, as they are now about to uh, egress or exit from Dragon Crew Endeavor. Again, this is the culmination of uh, what has been about a 19-hour journey home, all starting yesterday, as they departed the International Space Station. So this hatch will be manually opened, and once doing so, flight surgeon Neil Menon will uh, say hello and make sure that they're still doing all right and then proceed to assist them with exiting the capsule. And we see the hatch is now open. Hatch being opened at 12.59 p.m. Pacific. Hatch is open.
So right now they're going to put a piece of equipment in there that basically smooths out the edges and makes sure uh, that it is a comfortable exit from the Dragon capsule. Just a little piece of structure there to ensure that uh, the hatch will remain open and that any sharp edges around that side hatch are protected. Quick calm check there between Dragon and Mission Control and here. Solo from the PLT, I just wanted to thank you guys for uh, bringing us home safe before we uh, I disembark from Ship Endeavor. I'm sure Doug will have some good words for you guys as well. But uh, thank you for doing the most difficult parts and the most important important parts of uh, human space flight, getting us into orbit and bringing us home safely. Thank you again for the good Ship Endeavor. Thank you, Bob, for those awesome words. It's, it's absolutely been an honor and a pleasure to work with you from the entire SpaceX team. It's been awesome. Some initial words from NASA astronaut Bob Bankin. He's in the pilot seat, so you've Heard him refer to himself as PLT. We're still standing by for our crew members to begin making their way out of the Crew Dragon spacecraft. And again, they're going to get some assistance just the, the couple of feet to the medical quarters on board the ship, uh, where they're going to be able to uh, get out of their suits that they've been wearing for all of the, the final dynamic phases of the uh, separation events, deorbit burn, reentry. Uh, splashing down uh, just a little over an hour ago at 11.48 p.m. or a.m. Pacific time. Again, the recovery team. SpaceX Dragon from the commander. Go for SpaceX. Here we have our first view of yeah, Mike, Doug Hurley. I just would like to sort of reiterate what Bob said and add uh, my thanks to uh, everybody over the last several years that's either worked in Hawthorne, McGregor, or down at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Anybody who's touched Endeavor, uh, you should take a moment to just cherish this day, especially given all the things that have happened this year. Uh, we certainly can't thank you enough. Our families can't thank you enough. And, uh, just proud to be a small part of this whole effort to get the, the company people to and from the space station. They can celebrate with each other. We see you soon. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, hopefully in person. Thanks so much, Doug, and you're welcome. And, and thank you so much for those kind words. And we all wish you a safe journey home and a happy reunion with your family soon. And we look forward to seeing you in person as well. Really nice words there from Bob Benkin. There on your screen, we saw uh, NASA astronaut Doug Hurley egressing or exiting from the capsule. Might have been hard to see on your screen there, but um, we got a thumbs up indicating that uh, things are going well. I'm sorry, excuse me, I mixed up my positions there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, those words were from Doug, and we have Bob that just came out first. Yeah, so Bob Bank and uh, the pilot, the Joint Operations Commander for this mission out of the capsule now. And so he's making his way over to the medical area and now they're going to work to get Doug Hurley out next. And I think I saw a smile back. on Bob's face. <laughs> he was he was a thumbs up all the way. As they've been giving us some regular status updates from inside the capsule, they've been feeling really good. And so now we're just standing by for our spacecraft commander, Doug Hurley, to make his way out into the fresh air for the first time in 64 days.
All right, so they're getting set up and we should see spacecraft commander Doug Hurley making his way out of the capsule. And it looks like we've got him out. We've got him seated. There we go, another thumbs up. We've got some applause here.